flagged off at 7 a.m., 10 minutes after the wheelchair race had already started. Go! The men's race eventually wound down to a two-horse race pitting Joshua Kipkorir and Shadra Kipto. The two ran their own race over the final 10 kilometers, but Kip Korir proved to be the stronger one, breaking away to cut the tape first in 2 hours, 13 minutes and 25 seconds. <laughs> Kip Toh thought the runners-up podium was his, but he was shocked when another athlete overtook him at the 11th hour and took those honors. And uh, there has been a bit of a coup at the finish line. An argument immediately ensued as a man suddenly appeared and claimed second position. But race organizers would rule that Julius Njogu had reaped where he had not sowed by pretending to have run 42 kilometers. He, he cheated to me and he cheated with the, the timing chip. So, I mean, this is an imposter. It's a guy who just showed up at the finish. This is why when we finish, I rushed to the finish line because I, I saw him challenging the second guy. Your group yenye tuli tuli potea nao wote tuka tukachanganyikana na watu wa 21 km. Kama nimepotea tumepotea wote. Sio mimi peke yangu. The cheat will now miss out on prize money to the tune of 650,000 Kenya shillings. I will most likely spend the night behind bars. Meanwhile, back on the track, 42 km standard charter debutant Elizabeth Rumokoi upset all those who had bet on Chelagat to finish first. In 2 hours, 29 minutes and 32 seconds, followed by Georgina Rono and Riono Tukai Chemtai. A new 3.4-kilometer race dubbed the CEO's run was well received, with CBK Governor Dr. Patrick Njoroge running against leaders of industry, including Standard Chartered Bank CEO Lamin Manjang.